Good morning, Hoover Elementary. Dr. G here with Mrs. G. And welcome to Hawk TV. Welcome to all of our international viewers. We have viewers all over the world in China. We have viewers in Virginia. We have viewers in North Carolina and South Carolina and New York. We're very excited about that and we're expanding. We're going to become professional YouTubers. Okay, Dr. G. At this time, please stand for the pledge. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the, the flag, flag of, of the United, United States, States of America, America and, and to, to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. At this time, please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Mrs. G, could you shut that curtain for me? Because Certainly, Dr. G. I think that would make it easier for our guests at home. Oh, that's better. So much better. Maybe this one, too. Sorry about that. Oh, now we're now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. All right. So happy Friday, everybody. First of all, I think we've got some birthdays. Let's see. Thank you so much for your help. Happy birthday to Avery I. Congratulations. Happy birthday to William E. Congratulations. And happy birthday to Zachary M. Congratulations. Happy birthday to our three Hoover Hawks. And I don't know if you saw yesterday, but I sent out a picture. Miss Mushu, who works at Hoover, she just had a baby. We have a brand new Hoover Hawk. Oh. Yay, Miss Mushu. Yay. Take a look at that baby. Awesome. Real cute. All right. What else is going on? Dun, dun, dun. We've got our schedule for the day. So first of all, today is April 3rd, 2020. There are a lot of fun games you could play with the number three. Oh. There are a million ways you could write the number three. There might even be more than that. There might be an infinite number of ways you could write the number three. Like hmm. four minus one equals three, or two plus one equals three. And for some advanced work, you could throw in positive and negative numbers, fractions, decimals. See how many ways you can write the number three in 30 seconds today. And then if you can do that, you're the winner and you get to pick the new number. And we know that Steve in China loves that game. And he sometimes has trouble knowing what number's coming up, but it's kind of easy because we're going with the calendar. So just remember what day it is. All right. I've already done, well, first of all, school spirit. Thank you so much for all the pictures and the videos on Facebook and on Twitter. Everybody really participated yesterday in Eagles Day. A lot of great stuff out there. We got a lot of school spirit at Hoover. Let's continue that. I got my Hoover shirt on today. All right. I've already exercised. I did the PE challenge with Mrs. G. We did that this morning. That was a lot of fun. And then we had a nice breakfast, like I told you before. I I don't think I've ever really missed a meal. Do you, do you recall me ever missing? I don't a meal? ever recall that. No, I think sometimes I've even done two breakfasts. I usually do better sometimes if I have two breakfasts. All right, then our good friend Miss Burkholder, she's on her tricycle. She's zoom, 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 zooming and zoom. We're going to learn a little bit more about Canvas around nine o'clock. It's an awesome program. We've got the finest minds in the district learning how to do this online learning for phase three. When do you think this is going to be? Is this going to be today? Not today, Dr. G. Not today. Will it be tomorrow? Not tomorrow, Dr. G. How about April 13th? That's what I understand from Hawk TV every day. You keep selling us April 13th. Well, I don't know. I keep getting emails like, hey, I'm having trouble getting onto Canvas. Well, we're still learning how to turn it on, okay? That's right. Even Steve in China is prepared for April 13th. That's awesome. And you know what's really scary? Miss Burkholder, yesterday, she gave me the ability to add things to Canvas and to delete things from Canvas. Mm. So we have teachers who've been working for days and days and days on all these cool programs. And if I go in there and I accidentally delete everything, I think somebody's gonna be mad at me. So I'm gonna be very careful when I touch those buttons. All right, so then, you know, we've got a real job to do. We've got some YouTube work with Mrs. G. I don't know if you noticed yesterday, um, I was able to do the uneven parallel bars Mrs. G was a really good photographer, but at the key moment when I was doing my three spins around the bar, she hit the wrong button. And I forgive her. It's okay. 
But we're going to see if she can do the uneven bars today, and we'll see if she can do even better than I can. I'll try. All right. And then maybe when we're done with that, I think Mr. Meehan wants us to try the pummel horse. Have you ever done the pummel horse? I've never done that. You well, have to show me how. I think if we just YouTube it, figure it out, we'll make it work. Because, okay. I mean, I have a niece down in South Carolina. Her name's Charlotte. She can do the uneven bars. And I've seen her. She's pretty young. So if she can do it, I think we can do it. All right. So then... We're going to try and have some lunch. We always have a nice, healthy lunch. Usually, I have a nice salad. And then, uh, what do you normally have? Burger and fries and milkshake? Do you want to know the truth? Yeah. Usually, I have a nice, healthy salad. Oh. But since you've been home, you've been having a nice, healthy turkey sandwich or something, tuna sandwich, something like that. Very good. Thank you for that. We appreciate it. Yes. Also, good news on the lunch front. I know we've been telling people that Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 11 to 1, we're offering meals. And it used to be only if you qualified for free and reduced lunch. But just today, it changes. Dun, dun, dun. If you're 18 or under and you want breakfast and lunch, you can come. No paperwork, nothing. It doesn't matter if you're on free and reduced lunch. It doesn't matter if you're not. It doesn't matter if you're a Hoover Hawk or if you go to some other school, if you go to Catholic school, if you are homeschooled. If you live in the state of Pennsylvania and you need some meals, we'll have them for you. And the great thing is on Friday, you can pick up breakfast and lunch for today, tomorrow, and Sunday. And then on Monday, you can start picking them up for Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday. And I've had a lot of people email me say, what do I need to bring? You know, do I need to bring uh, my 2019 taxes? Do I need to bring my 2000? You don't need to bring anything. Just bring a smile. Neat, huh? All right. So then we're going to read for 30 minutes. Dun, dun, dun. I'm reading a good book, Old Bones. Are you reading anything good? I just started another James Patterson book this morning. Wonderful. Yes. We'll have to get Mrs. G reading a book. Have you ever read like The Cat in the Hat? I, I have that on my bookshelf, actually. We might have to do that. Maybe I could help her. That, that would, would be, be fun. Great. Then we're going to try some yoga. You know that uh, I'm very flexible and I love doing yoga. Thank you, Miss Salt, for sharing those uh, yoga videos. And then I'm going to try some clever again, because we have a lot of clever kids. Get it? Clever. And some of you put on some videos on Facebook and on Twitter about how to get to iReady. I want to see more of that. I, I can just click a button and I can see how many kids are playing Minecraft, how many kids are playing Fortnite, and how many kids are actually on Clever doing iReady. So please, let's try and bump up the numbers of how to get onto Clever and iReady. I want to see more kids doing that. It's great stuff. And then, dun, 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 I forgot today's Friday. It's report card day. So I'm going to click a few buttons, and I'm going to do some programming, trying not to delete all the Canvas content. I'll do my best. And I believe by around 4 or 5 o'clock today, all of the report cards are going to be available online. Now, here's the little caveat. We've all been working from home for several weeks now. I am very confident that this is going to work. I'm very confident all the report cards are going to be perfect. But it is entirely possible that a few report cards might not be perfect. Maybe the teacher's having some internet issues. Maybe the teacher uh, wasn't able to go back into the school and couldn't get their grade book. So if there's a few folks who have issues with the report cards, we'll work on that together and we'll fix it, okay? That's just life and we'll make it work. No panic buttons. That's one of my rules, no panic buttons. Got it. All right. So then we're gonna have a nice dinner, okay? And then I thought maybe I would play cards with, guess who? There's only one person here. Ms. G. <laughs> We're going to have a nice card game tonight, so that'll be fun. All right, so Mrs. G basically every day says, Dr. G, I really love your voice. Can you sing to me? And I say, well, Mrs. G, all right, for you, I will. Um, but today we thought we would sing together. And we love James Taylor. And Mrs. G is really a good friend to me. And I'd like to dedicate this song to Mrs. G. Oops. <laughs> Hold on. We're having some te technical difficulties here, but we'll be sure to get that resolved. Why is it not doing it? All right, hold on a second. Turn up the volume. Volume? Oh, volume. 
Thank God for Mrs. G. There we go. Thank you, Mrs. G. When you're down and trouble and you need a helping hand and nothing or oh, nothing's going right close your eyes and think of me and soon I will be there maybe even through zoom to brighten even your darkest night You just call up my name Hey, Mrs. G. Dr. G. And you know wherever I am I'll come running Oh, yeah, me See you again Spring, Not the summer so much. I don't take that off. All you got to do is call, and I'll be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got a friend. You got a friend here. You got lots of friends at home too. Have a good one. Live long and prosper. Enjoy the weekend. And now we got to get ready for the Olympics.